Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Today is my April favorites and not so favorites. And to start off, knock on wood, mom was not in the hospital this month. So let's keep her fingers crossed. So first off, I have a ton of stuff sitting in front of me. And I'm just going to start picking it up. Now, this is shocking. As some of you know, I've been going through a journey of trying to find lip stuff that I like. Because I wasn't a huge fan of it. Because I drink a lot. Like, regular drinks. Not drinking alcohol. But I have an excessive thirst. And I smoke. So lip products are kind of like a eh, once in a while thing for me. But I actually have four this month that I really like. And I will start off with the one we got in BoxyCharm. The Addis. Probably butchering that wrong in New York. There is no name on it. There might be on the card, which I don't have in front of me right now. But it's this like nudie color. And has a little brown pink tone to it as you can tell and I don't know I just really like it um also the uh, I wore this the my little pony color pop ultra matte and pinwheel it's this bright pink color which I've been loving it's a matte which I'm not a huge fan of mattes because listen I could wear it once all day but then once it comes at the end of the night, it's like cleaning it is a mess. And it just accentuates as I wear it through the day, my fine lines on my lips. <laughs> Next is Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop. You've seen me unbox this in a haul. And it is Vanessa. And it's kind of like just this nice lip topper with all these sparkly reflective colors. And then my sister brought this for me. Uh, it's another ultra glossy lip. It's from the Ella Ray. I don't know who she is. ColourPop collab. And it is called Stilo. And it's this brown kind of color. I'm wearing it now. All it does is kind of give you a little tint with a bunch of different sparkles and I find the ultra glossy lip to be very comfortable and uh you will have to reapply it throughout the day but it I don't know it's the one I like so far the best I also am liking I probably showed this before plenty of times wet and wild photo focus powder I use that today and uh, this is new to me that I got this month, and it is Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I've been looking for something because my eyelids could get, like, oily, and this has helped with some longevity, and uh, it, I, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, also, been liking this little sleek highlighter palette and those are the colors it's hard to see but they're very nice I got this from my friend Lena and I am very appreciative of it I also have another highlight I've been really loving I might have shown it in my last one is ugh, that's the wrong one Sorry. There we go. And it's my first Becca product and trying it. This is another one I got from Lena. And it is Becca Moonstone. And it is gorgeous. So, yep. Very happy with that. Uh, sorry, I'm just moving some things. Also, this eye mousse, which I find hard to use. I still like it, but I wish it was a lot easier to use. It's like a holographic mousse. It's called Prisma Metal Chrome Eye Mousse. 
And this one is in Perm 101 hol Holography Types. And it might have another name, but I am not sure. I got it off Hush when I made an order, but I like it. You've seen me use it a lot. I've been using like one color, one matte, and then tapping it on the lid. So, yep. Also been loving, I got a brand new, uh, another brand new uh, color pop no filter concealer. They, If you're a user of this, they have changed the numbers. So I would try to find a, the image chart of what your old number was and what your new number is. I was a medium 30 and now I'm a medium 28. So I think it was like your two numbers off. I wouldn't quote me on that. I would definitely double check if you that's the stuff you use. I also got a new sponge. It was cheap. It looks filthy. I know. But I like it. It's really soft and squishy. I'm used to like stiffer sponges. So yeah. As for wax, uh, I cut up my cookie of Go To Sleep and I've been loving that again. It really helps calm me down at night. It is, for those of you that don't know, it is pink sugar blended with uh, the Slaven lavender, sweet lavender cream blend from Super Tarts. I got this one, like it was a giant cookie and I just cut it up this week so I could use it. And then there is, this is empty for now. It was one I was panning. And it is Summer State of Mind. Strawberry, raspberry, guava, santuzma, and vanilla buttercream. You could smell the santuzma. Probably saying that wrong. I think I always say that wrong. Satsuma. Satsuma. Uh, I don't know. But it's like a really orange orange. That is the best way to describe it for that scent. But that's what I mostly smell in here. And it is awesome. It's a very fruity, very awesome smell. Another fruity one is uh, Sam Shire from Super Tarts. This was Southbound Candle Company. And before that was Super Tarts. This is also Super Tarts, Sam Shire. Fresh cut grass, watermelon, and rock candy. I have that going right now. And I love it. Mm -hmm. Now for not so favorites. I made this purchase on when I got that holographic metal thing because uh, I needed a new face cleanser and this sounded to be awesome and it was $11. I was trying not to buy my regular cleanser that went up in price and is now $19. I ended up buying it the other day because I need it. I should know better than to change when something works for me. But I bought this and it is a baking powder pore cleansing foam from Etude House. And I absolutely hate it. Like I went to use it. I thought baking powder would be like not as abrasive. It is abrasive AF. And I, I used it twice. Um, hoping to find someone to pass it along to. But... It not it is not for me. It is just too no 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 no. So that did not work. And what else didn't work? Oh my sister brought home some lippies for me and she brought home this Katy Cat mat and it is called Pink Paws and I put it on me and it's it's a lot lighter than you could see there. It's more of a a really really bubble gummy color like the bottom shows it there better um and it looked awful on me it was just the color was off it was really dry and ugh. now when I bought the Milani eye primer I was I needed a new concealer because I was trying not to order from Colourpop which is really hard to do my sister made that order and got me that other new one but um, 
I thought, I've seen people use the Milani Retouch and Erase for concealer, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It has this really hard, spongy applicator, and you try to use it, and now it's more squishy than it was when I first got it. But it's awful. Like, it just kind of slushes it around. It doesn't push it in. It does nothing. And then I just tried, like, squirting it from the top and using a sponge. It just does not look good on me. It. I don't know why. I want it to work, and I kept trying, and no. Mm -mm. I'm just going to stick with what I know and what I like. So, that's it. Let me look at my list. Uh... <laughs> I've been enjoying, I, probably, I think I mentioned this before, the Flawless, it's for your face, and it gets rid of the hair, and it doesn't hurt, <laughs> so I like that, um, <laughs> oh, Criminal Minds, I don't like that it ended, <laughs> the season finale was this month. But I uh, watched the two episodes season finale and the last episode, holy balls, Batman, please tell me you watched it. I know I got Kitty to watch it because I was just like, someone else needs to see this. I need to talk about this because it's absolutely nuts. Like you think you haven't figured it out and then you don't. Like, it happened multiple times to me, and then especially the end, and I was like, no. <sighs> so, gotta wait until, like, October to see what's going on there. Um, other shows, I've been enjoying uh, this new show called The Crossing. It's on ABC, and it's really complicated and kind of sci fi and it's like these people come back from like a year that's like t over a hundred something years. It's like 2185 and there's like a war there or something. It's, it's really weird. And they come back and they end up, some of them end up drowning and some of them survive. And it's about them and there's other intricate storylines in it that I, I'm horrible at explaining things. So, yeah. Uh, that's a good show to, like, try out. But I hate trying out stuff because it just seems, especially with ABC, which is, uh, which that show is on, um, whenever I like something, they take it away. And they don't make more episodes. <laughs> so, that's going on there. Um... There's nothing else I could think of for my favorites and not-so-favorites. So there's pretty more favorites than there were not-so-favorites this month. Which is always a good thing. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. And what are some of your favorites and not-so-favorites this month? Leave it down below. Um, if you're new here, I'm so glad you guys are here with me. I know I have a little bit of increase in uh, subscribers. So I am so glad you are here and new and joining this little fam nan family. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.